Swati, I will uh, take it uh, over to you to break it down for our viewers. What exactly are the components of this uh, Chandrayaan-3 that is going to make a landing today? Absolutely. Uh, Priya, what we have here with us is a 3D printed model of the lander Vikram and the rover Pragyan, which has been created by a company called Auto Abode. I also have an expert here, Mr. Selva Murthy, is the former DG DRDO and Vice Chancellor of Amity University. And it's very important here to also highlight to our viewers. So, Mr. Selva Murthy, till this point of time, ISRO had, uh, uh, you know, uh, option of delaying or changing the schedule but now it has given a go ahead for landing so there is no question of delaying it or rescheduling it to 27th isn't it absolutely right because now the decision has been taken we are going ahead with hmm. the mission of landing so the go ahead has been given the countdown real countdown has started now and we are just expecting the moment 604 hmm. p.m. today that hmm. we should be this lander hmm. will be touching down on the lunar surface doing a soft landing hmm. Because there's a lot of complexity is there in the soft landing Can you process. point out some of the changes? Uh, is this the same that was part of the Chandrayaan 2? Are there changes and what are they? Yes. The first thing is the legs hmm. which should take the high impact. Hmm. Even it is coming down to 10 meters, then it has to drop down. Hmm. This legs have to take that impact. Hmm. So the impact test has been done. It has ruggedized so much that this will take the impact. Hmm. The second thing is they have put additional two cameras. Right. So even if one camera loses the sight and hmm. we don't get the images, hmm. the other camera would function. So the redundancy has been built hmm. in hmm. this lander. Hmm. The third aspect is they have also built X, Y, Z. That is three angles in which it has to move before it lands. Right, right, right. So those velocity adjustment, hmm. vector adjustment hmm. uh, systems have hmm. also been built in the system. You, you spoke about the camera. Now the camera will have to take images and then compare it to the data that is stored. That is also one of the changes made in Chandrayaan right. 3, isn't it? Now Chandrayaan 2 had to take a decision and spot the landing area, but uh, Chandrayaan 3 has to just take images, compare it to the data fed already. Yeah. See, it has to look for the landing site, hmm. where exactly it's, is it safe, hmm. is there any obstacles, is there any craters, or is there any, uh, the rocks available there which will damage the lander hmm. and subsequently the rover inside. Hmm. So that is why these cameras will actually take a decision to hmm. look at the built-in images which is given, hmm. which is there in the memory, hmm. and then they will compare and see that if, uh, even if it's still right. it's an uncomfortable zone to land, hmm. then it has enough fuel, hmm. there is enough fuel have been put, it can traverse to another location and then land there. Enough fuel and enough power as well, because yes. additional solar panels have been placed both Absolutely. on the lander and the rover. So irrespective of how it lands, it should have enough power to operate, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Because the now earlier it used to be the uh, only on two sides. Right. Now they have put it on all four sides, the solar panel. Hmm. So this will power this uh, lander hmm. very well, so that th this will last for a longer time hmm. over there. All right. Let's focus quickly on the rover as well. Now this uh, ramp is in fact one of the panels after the lander lands the panel unfolds it creates this ramp and comes out the rover tell us something about uh, the rover also including you know the the logos that have been embossed on the wheels see the mission chandrayaan 3 mission has got one important component is the soft landing right the second important is to carry out the experiment subsequently mm, absolutely which will Look at the atmospheric conditions, look at the elemental analysis, hmm. chemical analysis, hmm. electrons, hmm. and also the ionic changes which happens, hmm. temperature variations which happens, hmm. and the thermal conductivity of the system. Everything has to be measured. So and that is the second part. Yes, yeah, so that will be carried out by the rover. Both lander, Both lander as rover. well as rover. So you have about four payloads here and two payloads over there. Yes. So this will give the complete topography, terrain, as well as the chemical, mm. the elemental composition, the atmospheric gases mm. available. So all this will be measured by these sensors right. and their payloads. Right. Quickly before we toss back to the studio, sir, uh, tell us about the landing area also, which has been expanded. Right. See, this is yet another to provide a greater tolerance mm. for the whole system. The previous Chandrayaan 2 had only 500 to 500 meters mm. is the landing site, which was so the tolerance is much less. Right. But this has been increased to about 4 kilometers to 2.5 kilometers, mm. which will give a greater tolerance for landing site as well. Mm. So this is yet another. And then also the velocity with which it will come down. Mm. Earlier, the tolerance limit was 2 meters per second. Mm. But in this landing lander, 
it has been increased to three meters per second. Right. So these are all the uh, modifications. So all the changes made to ensure that the soft landing does happen this time yes. around. And uh, like uh, Mr. Selvamurthy pointed out, the real countdown has begun now in the real job, in fact, of the lander rover and the entire team that will be going through tons of data once it is transmitted after soft landing will begin now. Back to you, Priya.